it's 25 years since he last presented a show on the BBC. Well, that gets put right tonight on BBC One with a new chat show called This Time. Alan is, of course, played by Steve Coogan. Let's have a look. His former show, Knowing Me, Knowing You, successfully blended celebrity guests with irreverent chat. It would probably still be going had he not accidentally shot a guest and attacked a BBC commissioning editor. In his own words, he has bounced back again. His new show, this time with Alan Partridge, starts tonight on 9.30 on BBC One. His co-presenter is Jenny Gresham. <laughs> well, Susanna Fielding, who plays <laughs> Alan's co-presenter, Jenny, and is my co-presenter, uh, joins us now. Hi. Was it as much fun to do as it, it looks as though it was? It was a huge amount of fun, I have to say. I got to sit next to Steve Coogan for six weeks on the sofa for 14 hours a day, uh, making each other laugh, really. So, uh, yeah, it was a challenge in terms of the way it was uh, technically done, but we had the most wonderful time. And quite a lot of it was, was on the hoof. You had scripts, but it changed. Yeah, it changed a huge amount. That's unlike any other job I've ever done. Normally, you kind of get your lines weeks before, learn them, and, and that's what ends up on screen. But with this, it was changing the night before, the morning before, in the makeup chair, and even on set. So a bit like just now, I was often reading my lines off the auto cue for the first time. So. Now, um, it, it goes out tonight, but everybody says, OK, this is based on the one show, but, but... What programmes were you watching to, to make it, to give it that sense of, well, I know that's him, that's her, that's somebody else? Because yeah. there are certain traits. Well, there's a certain style to this kind of presenting job. So I guess the first challenge is to kind of try to get that to look as accurate as possible. Um, uh, so there's, you know, obviously Susanna Reid was an influence, Alex Jones was an influence, Tess Daly, and that kind of immaculate professionalism that we see on screen with these amazing female presenters. Um, but we also have the on and off screen moments in, in this time with Alan Partridge. Uh, so we had to kind of make the delineation really clear. Um, so I think that's one of the best sort of comedy elements to the show. OK, the, the women all professional, all brilliant. What about the men? I mean, who do you think he, he was most influenced by? <laughs> um, well, I've been speaking to a lot of radio presenters on the BBC today and lots of them have said, oh, my goodness, this is not a made-up character. These people exist. And I think that's why he's, you know, been so popular for nearly 28 years, um, is that he really does seem, you know, he's a re very recognisable character. I mean, if it's the more uncomfortable it is to watch, the more like you it probably is. <laughs> that's, that's probably a reasonable rule to this. But, I mean, what was it like with him? Because we're talking about someone, you know, who's, who's just performed in one of the best films of the year, uh, yeah. Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Um, what's he like off air? Um, well, I think to begin with, he is an extraordinary actor, as we've seen with Stan and Ollie. He's not only a comedian, but he's a real... He's a real actor, so he's as interested in the relationship between the two characters as he is getting a laugh. And he's also interested in the whole thing being as perfect as it possibly can. So I don't think I've ever worked with an actor who is wanting to kind of scrutinise each moment to the point where it is absolutely the best it can possibly be. The, the difficulty to act as part like this, for you and for him, is you, you need to look as though you are yourselves, because if you're on air for a certain point of time, you can't act through... The th